Hey guys, welcome back. In this quick tip video, we're gonna render this animation. This is an animation that we did in a previous video. I'm gonna show you how to render it today. Uh, very easy, very fast. We're gonna do it in five steps. And the first step is to click on the printer icon. The printer icon is the output properties. Of course, outputting your animation to a rendered video file, it's like outputting or printing out your animation. In here, we're going to just check the um, resolution, the size, check the first and end, the start and end keyframes, make sure that our animation is what we wanted to render, and the frame rate. The second click is here in the output section, we're going to click this folder icon to tell Blender where and what to name our file and where to save it. So we're gonna save this, I'm gonna call it walk cycle, and we're going to save it on the desktop. So here, and then accept. Here we're just telling it what you want it named and where do you want it saved. We haven't saved anything yet. Um, the next click is in the file format. It is default to a PNG um, sequence. But we're going to click on that and we're going to click on FFmpeg video. We're going to render to a video. So we're going to output to a video. And the next click is the encoding. We're going to encode this using a container. And so what I like to do is click on this and pick a container that you would like to um, output to. Um, it could be any of these. For my preference, I always choose MPEG-4 because it's cross-platform from Windows to Mac and it is also web-friendly. So I, I always choose MPEG-4. And then I check the video codec. This isn't something we're going to click on, but you can always check what video codec you want. And I'm just gonna leave it at H.264. And then one more thing that we need to check if your animation has audio, you can click and render the audio as well. This has no audio, so I'm gonna leave it at no audio. And then the last thing is go up to the render menu. Go up to the render menu and click render animation. So it already knows what to name it, where to go, and how to save it. The next thing is just to render it. You will get a pop-up screen with the frame number being rendered right there. Right now it's on frame six, seven. And it's done. And so let's check the animation. It should be in my desktop. And here it is. Let me double click on it hit loop, hit play, and there's your rendered animation from Blender. Hey guys, if you like this video, please let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Thank you.